I, I have a college degree in Bible, and I, I wasn't taught this. Why? I mean, I, I can't understand it. What we're going to see is that Peter, the author of what we're going to look at, makes a connection. This is so great, right? Between, he's going to put it all together. The sons of God having sex with the daughters of men back in Genesis 6. The spiritual demons that resulted from those rebellions. Noah and the flood. And then Jesus descending to preach to the dead spirits in the underworld. Peter, Peter makes a connection between all of that and what we're going to do here in about 20 minutes. Baptism. He says it's all connected. But in order to do that, to understand how Peter lands where we're gonna look at, we have to understand that Peter, the author, is tapping into something outside of the Bible, a, a worldview of non-biblical Jewish literature. In particular, there's this one book called the book of First Enoch. We now have a copy of it because they, they discovered uh, copies of it in the Dead Sea Scrolls just a few decades back. Okay, again, First Enoch is not the inspired word of God. It's not equal to the Bible. But Peter read it. And he believed it, and he quoted from it several times in his writings. 